the vlogmas day. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to vlogmas <laughs> day. <laughs> 12? Vlogmas day 12, that's today. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Casey, welcome to Casey Cuse. It is vlogmas, it's the most wonderful time of year. Today is Monday, December 11th, and it is snowing outside. Let me show you. Actually, if I turn it off, you'll see. Oh, it's snowing just a little bit. Nothing crazy. We haven't gotten too much snow this year. It's kind of sad. There's probably like an inch out there right now. Yeah. Yeah, not too much snow. All I care is that we have it for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Last year we did not have a white Christmas, so this year I am praying for one. But, hello everyone, today uh, is a study day. It's uh, 9.30, I've been up for quite some time, like two and a half hours. I was editing my vlog, which is Vlogmas Day 10, which is our It's a Wonderful Life um, vlog from Saturday and it's the longest vlog of vlogmas so far it's like 45 minutes so if you're ready to watch you know that long of a vlog that one is up if you want more case cues uh, before I start my studies I'm going to load the dishwasher and run it and then throw in a load of laundry that way that's all getting done while I'm studying and that's pretty much it for today. I'll just, you know, bring you along on my studies and I don't know. I don't really have anything else planned. It's just a study day. Like every day this week is probably going to be just forewarn you. Yep, nothing exciting today. Um, this weekend we have to make our Christmas cookies on Saturday. So that will be fun. And then I'm going to be studying Sunday, Monday, Tuesday because it's my fun. I need to start studying for my final probably this week. Like, I need to get on it. Next two days, I'm studying for my test that's Friday. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And sa I have to study Saturday. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday is all studying for my final. And Wednesday, because my final is not until the evening time. Oh, guys, I have nine days left of school. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. It's insane to me. That's it. Ah! I'm so excited, guys. Please, 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 if you could, just pray for me. If you guys have been following my channel for, you know, over the past couple years, you'll know that I have had quite a few bumps in my nursing school journey, and I um, am a terrible test taker. So if you could pray that I just pass my tests, I would be forever so grateful for you. And if you need any prayers sent out on my, by me, I will gladly pray for you and your family um, in exchange for some prayers that I passed my tests. Oh, that's all I need, guys. I just need to pass and then graduate. Please, God, please. I'm praying so hard. Hope everyone out there is doing well and isn't going through anything challenging or difficult or sad at this time of year because that's just not a fun time. So I really hope everyone is doing well that's watching my vlogs and um, my family's doing good. So I just ask that I pass my test, please, Grandma, God, Jesus, whoever's listening, I'm going to study hard starting in like T-minus 20 minutes after I put the laundry in and Blow the dishwasher. Prayer, prayer, prayers for nursing students all across the land. I pray for all my friends that are taking finals this week. I know it's finals week a lot of places like this week, but I have my final next week. So please, just pray for Case. I hate asking. I really do. Especially for something as silly as a test, but... For me, it's kind of life or death. It determines whether or not I will be able to be an RN in a couple of months. So I really could use all the prayer possible. Another little update that I have for you is that last night, Brendan and I decided a date for our Christmas party. It's going to be December 22nd, so two days after my final. 
I'll have those two days to get ready for the party. But I think that Thursday, the day after my final next week, I'll be able to just get everything done then. Because I'll be so stressed out waiting for my grade that I'll just be hustling and bustling all around. So, ugh, guys, I need to get through this time in my life so that I can enjoy the holidays, please. I'm really excited for the 20th to get here and be over with and I just know that I'm done with school and I passed and I'm moving on with my life. That will be the moment of happiness for me and then I just have to worry about the NCLEX which I will thoroughly prepare for in the month of January along with working as a graduate nurse at my new job. I'm just so excited. I need everything to just fall into place for once for me. Like this is it. This is it. I'm sorry I keep touching my boob. Yeah that's a little update for you guys. So I'm going to get going on all the other things that I have to do since my vlog is edited. Now I just got to focus on the rest of the things that I need to do that are actually priorities. So let's do it. I forgot to mention, yesterday I got a package from J. Crew with my holiday dress in that I have to try on. And it came in this beautiful plaid little bag. How adorable is that? Alright guys, so I have my study area all set up. I have my computer on the chair over there because it's exporting the vlog. Oh my god, look at how beat up the door looks. This room really needs some TLC and I can't wait to get new carpet or new floor in here. Paint the walls. Little paint, little carpet, something different. We'll just do wonders to this room. But anyways, <coughs> I have Christmas spirit diffusing in my diffuser. It smells phenomenal. I have one of my ATI books. In here I'm going to do the reading on migraines. My study guide says to read this stuff in this book. So I, I think I started the reading and never finished it. And my iPad's really slow. But I'm going to uh, browse the reading in there, use the reading in here, and my PowerPoint. And I'm going to make a concept map for migraines. And um, I'm going to watch like a couple of Khan Academy videos. I'll probably find one of those nursing education consultants pictorials of migraines. Print it out. Keep it with my notes. It's going to be dandy. I had a dream last night that I didn't hand in like my final paper for nursing school. But I did. I don't know why I had that dream. That was terrifying. I must have done some of the reading because I have a bunch of highlights in here. And uh, it opened right up to it. Awesome. All right, gonna get to work here. Hey guys, so it's a real exciting day. I'll probably set you up and you can watch me study a little time lapse for you because today's been a really boring day because that's all I've been doing. And I feel like study days, I just stay in my pajamas all day. I don't, I don't really like wearing a bra if I'm not going outside the house. So I literally just stay in my pajamas all day just a t-shirt and shorts and my slippers. I do housework, you know, on my breaks and I watch like a YouTube video and I just put dinner in the oven. It's like 4.30 right now. Um, we're gonna have some lemon garlic chicken and rosemary sweet potato, er, rosemary baby carrots. And then I'll make a side salad for Brendan and I. Um, we've been really into like a roasted veggie chicken and salad for dinner every night. Last night we had, well, we had potatoes. Maybe I'll make those up too. Might as well. I'll see what he thinks. These are, used to be so much better. And last night we bought them and they're not as good as they used to be. The Larry's mashed potatoes. These aren't the ones, I, I thought that these were called twice baked potatoes. Maybe there's different ones. But I thought that these were the ones. I don't know. So maybe the twice bake is what I need. And that's what I don't have. Could be. Tell me if I'm wrong. I might just Google it and figure that out. I have some laundry to fold. That's just all towels and washcloths. <sighs> I have all the Christmas lights on. It's very cozy and warm in here. It smells really nice. So yeah, I'm going to uh, keep studying. I have a timer on for 35 minutes. My oven's at 400 degrees. So I'm going to go study some more. It's looking real cozy in here now that the sun has set. 
I probably need a little bit more light. But, done with migraines, on to head trauma. It kind of took me a while to do migraines. I was kind of going a little bit slow. But, now I'm ready to do head trauma, head injury. So come along, I'll set you up somewhere. Also guys, oh my god, let me talk about this for a second. Um, I bought this probably two years ago, I want to say. It wasn't last Christmas, it was Christmas before that. When they sell their, the, this packaging, the Shea Butter, yeah, Ultra Shea Body Cream. These go on sale for like four, three or four dollars. Um, because their normal price is 13 They're probably more expensive now, because everything at Bath & Body Works is more expensive than it was. Like, this candle is from last year. It was $22.50, and this year they're $24.50. I cannot believe that they raised the prices on the candles. When I first started buying them, they were like $20, and now they're up. They go up like $2.50 every other year, and it's really not good. I have this Frosted Winter Woods hand cream. It just smells so good. They don't even sell this scent anymore, so I don't know why I'm even telling you about it. But I guess just to rant about the frustration that I have with Bath & Body Works and taking away such wonderful scents. Like, this is amazing. This is um, Frosted Clementine, Fresh Cedarwood, Ice Pear, Velvety Fir Balsam, and Vanilla Bean. But I can't even describe to you what and how good this smells. I think that Fresh Clementine which is the the first frosted clementine. I love the smell of citrus in the winter time. I know that seems weird, but around here, I'm pretty sure most places in the United States, um, clementines are like in season right now and everyone, they're in the stores and everything and um, specifically clementines, not like um, oranges necessarily, but I love oranges. I love the smell of oranges. I love, love, love oranges. But clementines, specifically at Christmas time, there's something about the clementine scent that is just amazing. I wonder if there's clementine. I feel like there's orange in this, in Christmas spirit. And I absolutely love the scent of orange with like a warm outdoorsy scent. Like the fresh cedar wood. Freaking amazing. And balsam. So this um, Christmas spirit is citrus. Um, uh, cinnamon, cinnamon, mum, um, bark, um, black spruce. It's amazing. Like, I don't know if these two scents are, like, all I want to be about right now. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with this so much. I keep putting it on my hands because it just, it just smells so good. And it's probably old and expired, but... I don't care because it smells amazing and I'm not getting like a rash or anything. So who really cares? Guys, let me know if Bath & Body Works lotions expire. I have a whole freaking collection of them. I don't use the lotions as frequently as I do the sprays because I don't like lotion like on the surface of my hands. I'll put it on the backs of my hands but not, oh, I can't do my palms because my hands get all like clammy and slimy. This smells amazing. I wish I had bought the whole line. Oh, and I've seen them bring back like a couple of the scents that were with Frosted Winter Woods, but not this, not this. I haven't seen it in the store since I bought it. It's very frustrating. The packaging was gorgeous a couple years ago. Like, look at that. Glittery snowflakes, a little tree with like pears and oranges, and then some like winter spruce trees. Oh. I'm, I'm being a real weirdo right now, but seriously, amazing. <sighs> I can't get over it.
just <laughs> I'm taking a break and watching Steph's video. So Brenda and I ate dinner and I've been studying head injuries. I don't know if I was telling you guys that that's what I've been uh, looking up. And I just wanted to show you like how messy my room has gotten. Um, so my desk is kind of, I need to get more water. I mean, it's not too unorganized. I have, um, my highlighter. I'm doing purple for head injury. So I have my purple pen, my purple highlighter, a couple black pens. I like to do my flashcards in black ink. And then, um, I use little sticky notes to identify the topic. Um, or I'll use the colored post, post-its colored flashcards um, for certain topics, but um, I'm running out, so I haven't used those today. This is all my notes for my final, and then underneath it is all of my notes for the test, like the PowerPoints that I have to go over to make study guides and um, not st study guides and concept maps to put in this pile of stuff for my final. Um, so yeah, this is all that's on the final plus all of this back here that I have to go through still. So, and my candle upside down because that's where you guys were sitting when I was doing my time lapse. I still have my lotion here. I need to fill my water, get more flashcards. Uh, I just plugged in my iPod, my iPod because I'm like at 10%. I've been using this, um, for my textbook. Can you see that? There it is. Have Christmas spirit diffusing. I have my video exporting on my computer, and then over here on the floor, I have all my practice question books. Um, and then I printed this out for the head injury stuff. I love these from nursing cons education consultants. I print these out for like every every little bit of patho that I need. It just helps visualize things, and it has to like key points on it, which I really like. And then um, as I go through my PowerPoint, I set it back here. I have loose leaf, post-its, pens, and more stuff. All my books. I guess it's not that bad. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys. Get some more water and get back to it. It's like 6, 7, 48. Um, it's almost 8 o'clock. But um, head injury is the last topic I'm studying tonight, so... And tomorrow I'm doing um, professional identity, identity, ethical and legal, and healthcare management, breach of care, and centennial events. And then Wednesday I'm doing farm all day. <laughs> so that'll be fun. I'm pretty good with farm. I don't know why. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I'll talk to you guys in a little while. So happy studying. I'm going to have some mint tea in a little bit. Alright guys, it's 11.04 p.m. And remember how I told you I was exporting this vlog at like 9.30, 10.30 this morning? It might have even been earlier than that. 8.30, I don't know, 9 o'clock. <clears throat> My video is still not done exporting. So it literally takes all day sometimes, especially if the video is longer than 30 minutes for it to export kind of sucks <laughs> but I am so tired I got quite a good amount of studying in today studying in today so I'm proud of myself I'm excited to study tomorrow I have um my mindset to go get stamps in the morning because I didn't end up getting stamps today and getting my prescriptions which I should actually call in before I go to bed because they're both out and I would like to get a Starbucks because I put money on my card when I got paid and we were at Barnes and Noble because I had a Starbucks in there and I wanted a drink and um, I'm really close to getting my free beverage. I'm like five stars away so I was like excited. I'm like oh I'll just you know reload it and then I'll get a free beverage and then I'll still be able to buy another and the Barnes and Noble didn't accept Starbucks payments through the app so um I was disappointed but needless to say I have ten dollars on my app and a free drink coming my way so I'm gonna go grab that in the morning 
hopefully I'm going to wake up early. I'm actually going to get dressed tomorrow and make myself feel a little bit better. Um, not that I felt bad today, but I was just really lazy and I didn't get dressed. Which I think, you know, sometimes it's better to put yourself together for the day. It makes you a little bit more productive. I was pretty productive today, but needless to say, I'd like to be more productive tomorrow. I wanted to start wrapping gifts yesterday, or today, but um, that didn't happen. And that's okay because I literally just finished doing practice questions, so I don't... I'm too tired to dive into that right now. Plus, I have to, like, organize my basement because it's a mess. All my boxes from my Christmas decorations are all out, like, in the main room down in the basement. And all my wrapping paper is in the back of our under under the stair storage area so I have to pull all of that out before I put all of the storage boxes back there so that I can wrap gifts without having to dig through a bunch of empty boxes and then um, obviously I'll take it all back out when I have to take down Christmas which I'm not looking forward to and I don't even want to think about it it's only December 11th I know a lot of people haven't even like put up Christmas decorations or some people not a lot of people but yeah, so there's that, but I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to stop talking and go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I have an itch on my arm. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've wrapped any Christmas presents yet. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty tired. But stay merry and bright, and have a good night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. They're all a little different, which I think makes them all unique so I'm happy to uh, mail these out to all of you 